tonight because the moon is in when and I want to show you guys a few things that you can do for defensive magic so the first thing that I want to show you guys is um, these are some peppers these are scotch bonnet peppers so they're really 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 hot so if you have someone that's been bothering you and you want them out of your house or you want them to, you know, start fighting and somehow cause a breakup between them two, be it a friend, be it um, in a relationship. Um, I'm going to show you guys what you can do. Okay, so you're going to take one of these scotch bonnet peppers. You must wear gloves. I, I recommend you to highly wear at least two gloves or the really, really thick gloves. Um, and do not touch these with your hands. So you're going to take one of these. You're going to, you're going to cut it in half right here right in between here and then not fully in half but just like a slit right in between here then what you're going to do you're going to get their, their name their date of birth whatever information that you need you're going to place it on some brown paper place it on some brown paper and then you're going to take one of these chilies see these red chilies here and you're going to put their names in between them put their names in between the chili and then you're going to place it inside of there then you're going to take some hot foot and then some sofa you're gonna put it inside of the scotch bonnet pepper when you place everything inside then you're gonna take some pins you have to wear gloves don't touch this stuff it'll burn you for days it'll burn your skin you're gonna take some pins you're gonna take the pins and pin pin in between to close it then what you're going to do you're gonna take these peppers and then you're gonna throw them at the house so you're gonna to have to get them on somehow you have to get on the property so if they live in an apartment, you could you're gonna you could take it by the exit, you know, or the entrance, and you're gonna put them there. These are intended for them, so somehow they're gonna walk past these, they're gonna go by these, or you wanna, you know, you don't wanna necessarily put them exactly at their door, but you wanna get them on their property. This will cause them to fight. It's gonna be really, really hot. This is gonna cause arguments. This is and if you have someone in your house that you don't want around, you're gonna place these hot peppers for them. You can keep them in your house. They're intended for the target. You're going you're gonna to do your ritual. You know, you're going to pray over them as you're making them together and pinning them up. And you're going to leave these in your house because you want the person that's in your house. You want to basically hot foot them. But you're going to use the peppers. And this is going to draw a lot, a lot of heat and hotness. They may even argue with you. Okay? So if it's for somebody in your house, you'll, take, you'll do it the same way. One pepper. Place it in between. You want to write down what you want to start to happen. And then you're going to use these peppers to get rid of them. They're really hot, so you have to be careful with them. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is the war water. Because if you want to, you can take these peppers and you can put them inside of a jar, just like this. And you're going to use war water on top of it. And you could throw these at your, um, you know, if you have nosy neighbors, diff differences, but not really necessary nosy neighbors, but a situation where you don't want them around you. You don't want them on your property. You don't want them living near you. And you will take the war water and place the hot peppers inside and you will pour the war water inside and then you will take it to the property. After you shake it up for a while and then you're going to throw it on their property. Yeah, it has to be deployed on their property. It has to be thrown and broken and left there on the property. So you're declaring war basically, and you're also going to be hot footing them out. So years ago, you know, the, the war water was used for witches and you know, those working against each other and they would throw these bottles on each other's properties to declare war. But you have to protect yourself when you can do this. So I'm going to tell you what to do. So you're going to get a bottle like this. I always love adding vinegar to my war water. So I'll add some vinegar and then some water and look how dark my my um my vinegar vinegar got already and this was using the um the which vinegar i used for this i believe the vinegar was the um it wasn't the red wine vinegar um it was the apple cider vinegar and it's really really dark now look at that okay so i pour some in here pour some water then what i do i use some spanish moss the spanish moss is going to get so nasty and disgusting and murky looking the vinegar it, it, it creates a better effect it turns really really nasty and black then what i'm going to do i'm going to add some nails okay the nails need to be rusted so what you're going to do you don't have to get nails from a railroad you don't have to get nails from a graveyard from a jail you don't have to get nails from certain places like that what you're going to do in this situation is you're going to get the nails 
and then you're going to place them in some baking soda and then add in them with some vinegar you can use regular vinegar or you can use this vinegar and they're going to rust those nails they're going to turn them rusty when they turn rusty you're going to place the nails inside of here okay this warm water will help you to protect your property you can use it to clean your property to protect it you know like lay around it and you can also put it on your enemy's land, you know, their property, around their car. And it's not, they're not going to know what it is, you know. But it's basically, it sends them running. It's the, the war water is really a really, really uh, disruptive, um, destructive uh, water to use. You know, this war water is going to help you to get rid of certain people, enemies, all of that. And, it's a, and, and if you know what you're doing... You're going to do it during a certain time. The wet and moon is a really good time to use it. It's a good time to get this. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's used for protection, but it's also for defense. You want to defend yourself against anything that they're doing. So when you're going to be doing this kind of spell and you're preparing everything and putting everything together, make sure you have your own protection candles lit. Another thing that you can do, since I showed you how to do the war water, mixing it with that, when you want to sour someone's life. So a lot of you guys contacted me and you told me, you know, basically what, you know, what can I use? Can I use a, a lemon instead of a lime for your freezer jar spell? No. My spell consists of the greenest lime you can get that's what you need for this spell now when i want to sour someone's life so what i do when i want to sour someone's life is i will start with a lemon okay so this is the average size lemon that you guys will use and this is my average size lemon this is what i'm looking for i'm looking for something that i can cut into i can pack some work in some powders some herbs their names personal concerns so just take a look at this this is huge this is this is what you're looking for i don't i don't i don't want to use this i don't use those this is what i'm using i'm using the biggest lemon i can find i have to so what you do is i always take what i'll do i'll take a knife that's frosted and i will cut it in half so their name will go in there any type of personal concern will go in there and what I want to happen. I have used lemons to um, for my clients, you know, for people, you know, competition on the job, you know, and, you know, to cut them, to get them fired, basically, souring their lives and everything around them, to sour relationships, uh, to sour friendships. So what you do is you place the name inside of here, you make a slit. Everything goes inside. You place it on brown paper. What I also do is I put some sulfur inside of here. The sulfur will go inside of here. Then, you know, depending on what I'm doing, if I'm going to be souring your life in general, your name is going in here. Um, the sulfur is going in here. I'm also going to put some hot foot powders in here. Not only do I want to sour your life, but I want to run you away. I'm also going to add some, um, one of my clients was able to get uh, cigarette buds, which was really good. That went in there as well. The picture went in there. And on the brown paper, I placed down what I wanted to happen. And when I was done, I used the pins to pin it up. You can add some hot peppers if you want to. You can add some hot peppers if you want to. I used the pins. I pinned it up, closed it up. And it was to sour her life in general. For destroying this woman's family, taking her husband, you know, having an affair with him. She knew he was married. She um, was friends with both of them. Became a babysitter. Became really close with the family. And then it was just a matter of time she was sleeping with this man. You know, the relationship ended shortly. But it was something that this woman, you know, by nature does. She went in and she slept with this man. So, you know, upon speaking to my client, we decided, you know what, we'll sour her. We'll sour her life. So after I pinned it up and everything, um, I wrapped it up with a black cloth. You need, you need some kind of cloth that's really, really black. And you're going to wrap it up. And then what my client had to do was bury this into the floor. It goes into to the floor. I'm going to sour your life. I'm going to place it into the floor. And we did it when it was really, really, really hot. 
because I, I needed this lemon to dry up just like I wanted her life to be sour and dried up. Not only did she lose her job working with other people, but everyone knew what she was doing. And another lady, which was the wife that she slept with husband, placed her photos all over the internet. So her reputation was being soured. She couldn't work nowhere. The neighbors knew about her. It was just bad on top of bad. No money. Like this was, this ruined her life in so many different ways, just like what she did to my client. You know, I know there's other alternatives, but if you feel some type of way about these type of spells, then you shouldn't watch my videos. And don't comment below and tell me, you know, oh, you shouldn't do that. When you're in a situation, you will find all types of ways to get your life back and to get back at that person. My client waited well over a year to even do anything, you know? And when she was good and ready, she she decided, you know what, I just want to sour her. And this is a spell that I took in from one of my great aunts. So for those of you that live in the tropical islands, this is a perfect spell for you because you have that heat, that sun that sits out oh, for so many hours. So what you do, you're going to get it, you're going to bury it into the ground and it's going to dry up. It's going to dry up. So when you, and, if, and if you feel guilty, if you honestly feel guilty in a couple of days, you go dig that hole back up and you squeeze it. If there's any bit of juice left in there, you take it, you squeeze the juice out, you cut it in half, you dispose of it. Okay? You dispose of it and that will end the spell. But, if you're not feeling any type of way, no type of guilt, burying this into the ground in the hot sun to sour and dry her ass up is best to do. And men, you can do this too. I know there's a lot of men out there that contact me and watch my videos. And this, you know, some women, they just go, they hurt you in the worst ways ever. Dry the bitch up. Sour her life. Place her into the ground. And you know, when you know when, when, when you start seeing her looking all dry, hair dry, crusty lips, you know, the back of her feet look like she been playing double dutch and flower, dried up. When I tell you dry, unbelievably dry, then you know your shit is working. Then you know that this spell that I have given you today and shared with you guys has been working. Because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, some some people need certain things done to them to teach them a lesson i do not like to do you know bad spells no I, I like i said i like to place you into a jar freeze you use tongues shut your mouth keep you in your place and then i'll push you away you know i'll push you away vanish you to get away get away from me or my clients because i don't like to necessarily cross anyone but it will have to take a lot for you to keep doing it to me over and over and over because I, I I brush you off I have sealed your mouth shut you know I have pushed you away I don't have any contact with you but for you to continuously even try still to come around even though you're not wanted this is what I recommend so when you go and you mess with the wrong person, you have no idea what they're going to do to you when they close their door at night. You know, I, I interact with a lot of people daily. And, you know, depending on how, you know, our conversations go, some people, they just, you know, because Mercury is in retrograde, I guess that's what it is. They feel that they could just say certain things to you and, you know, cross you. And, and I'm not the type of... Um, I will call myself a practitioner, I will say practitioner, I don't call myself a witch, but I'm not the type of practitioner that I'll say, you know what, I'm going to go, I'm going to go home and I'm going to make this spell and I'm going to deal with you. No, I'm not going to do that. But you just have to be very careful who you cross paths with because you're going to mess with the wrong witch and they will deal with your ass as soon as they get home. They're taking a picture of you, okay, right in your face. They're looking you in your eye because they want you to know, I do not fear you, but you should fear me. Okay, you don't know what people are going to do when you cross them the wrong way. And, and some people really do deserve the sourness in their life. And I honestly 100% mean that. There's some people that intentionally would just go about to destroy other people's life just because they can do it. I am not one to get mad and, you know, go do spells on people. No, I have a lot of clients 
that deal with certain situations and I always try to make them deal with a different route than to supposed to freezing them up you know placing their tongue in the freezer or or even doing a tongue spell and placing it out into the wild to be eaten just like we want your tongue to be so the way that that tongue is devoured every time you open your mouth to mention my client's name that will be your tongue you biting your tongue bleeding all the time eating your own tongue yes I have tongue spells that you will eat your own tongue because you just keep on talking talking you know and a lot of people are not as strong as they seem to be so a lot of things will bother them and I always talk to my clients and I let them know let's deal with it a different route and then sometimes you know after doing reading and seeing how bad they've been dogged out some people deserve the sourness in their life so they can see what it's like to be destroyed by someone that you cared about by someone you thought was your friend by even someone that that's blood you know family they will destroy you so in return you get your life soured so if you guys could get your hands on one of these bad boys right here find them i i look for everything that i need that will give me the best results these little things here these ain't doing nothing for me honestly they're not they're not this this will dry your ass out real quick put it in the heat okay do not contact me asking me oh please i don't want to put a lemon into the ground i'm gonna ignore you i'm just i'm just being honest with you i'm gonna ignore you because I've received so many emails with people asking me, oh, why do you put the, the ammonia in the water? I never said to put the ammonia in the water. I said to put it into a jar, sealed up tight, wrapped with tape, into a black bag, wrap that up also. And the, and the way that you can dispose it is in a river. You want this shit to float away from you. You want it to go far away from you. Okay? You can't honestly think that I'm polluting the earth because I'm telling you to put some jars in the water. I said it, wow, okay, put the jar in the water. There's other things in the world to worry about than some jars floating down the river, okay? So, what you guys do, if you don't want to put it in the water, what you can do is bury it, okay? Not on your land, not anywhere near it, or you can go to a crossroad. You go to the crossroad, which is a four-way street, okay? And it looks like this, okay? So you can go north, south east and west okay and what you do you leave it there and you know people say there's a man at the crossroads that deals with spells you leave him you know an offering you could leave a bottle of liquor and you leave him some pennies as a payment okay but the best way to dispose of it is to float that shit up the river i'm, I'm being honest with you i take mines to this big 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 waterfall and on certain nights, when I go there, I see people with candles. Of course I know what they're doing. They're witches. And they take this shit there. This, is, this waterfall is no joke, okay? This is pushing shit far. So those of you that have a problem with me saying, oh, put it in the water, you're, you're polluting, the fish are going to drink it. How are they going to drink something that's in a bottle sealed? How? And honestly, I, honestly, I cannot even worry about what, you know, these emails are saying because... I, I gave y'all instructions. Y'all want to do the spell, y'all do it. If you don't want to do it, fine. Okay, you put it in there. This water is taking this shit far. It is. It is. Eventually, somebody will fish it out. But as long as it gets away from you, you have nothing to worry about. Okay? So, I never said in any way, open the bottle, pour it in, and then, hey, for the fun of it, throw the bottle in. No. No. And, and you know, in no way do I intend to kill any kind of wildlife or fish, you know, in the water at all. But it's just how you dispose of the spell but since you guys don't want to do that you can take it to the crossroads and then for those of you that want to complain about the crossroads and then i know you're going to complain about burying it oh can i just bury it in my next door's neighbor's yard that moved out no you can't you have to dispose of it away from your property if neither one of the three that i have recommended can be done i i'm honestly going to just delete your email i'm not even going to respond um, and there's no other alternative. Don't do the spell. That's it. So I hope this will clear it up. And for those of you, oh my God, where do I bury it? You, if you can't find somewhere to do it, then you shouldn't do the spell. And let me tell you something. If you're souring your neighbor or a friend of yours, go and get a lemon from her house. Okay? Do not use the lemons off of your property. All right? Sour the bitches up with their own lemons. It will work even better. So, so all of my subscribers, you know, overseas... You know, and you're in the tropical climate, 
go next door. You hate her? You want to side with her? She slept with your man? Get her lemons from right next door. Pick them off a tree. Or if you cannot do that, then you go to the supermarket like I have, okay? Because I don't have lemons growing in my backyard. So this is what you can do. And I hope this is very, very clear as can be to those of you that will, you know, once again, okay, so can I use a, a, lem a, a lime? No, you can't use a lime, okay? You can't lose a, use a lime. And don't ask me if you can use a pomegranate. I just told you it's a, it's a lemon spell to sour, okay? This is, this is what you're going to do. If you don't have sulfur, if you don't have hot foot, if you don't have pins, place her in there. Her ass will still get soured, okay? With your intent and prayer to sour her, she still will be soured. Wrap it up, place it into the ground. If you feel guilty in a few days, if there's no juice left in that, there's no unsouring her dry ass, okay? She'll be dried up. And then leave it to her to go uncross herself and do everything that you had to do to fix your life. So, you know, I'm, I'm being as blunt with you guys. I'm, I'm being as honest with you guys. This is what you ask me. And I tell you, this is what you can do. But, you know, of course, there's always someone who wants an alternative. Oh, I don't really want to sour her. Can I use a pear? No, you can't use a pear. You can't. Don't use an orange. No, don't do that. Do not use a watermelon. You are using a lemon. Okay, please. This is, this is what the spell is. This is how I do my spell. This is how my great aunt was doing her. Placing it into the floor. She was burying it, burying it on your own property. At night while you slept. And watching you move out. And looking so dry. Crusty flake lips. Oh my god. Dryness is not the word. Okay. Dry. As dry as can be. So I showed you guys how to do the war water. I showed you guys how to hot foot them and I showed you guys how to sour them. So this is three in one. Okay? So you can do what you want to do. And you know, if it's if it's for a job and you want to cut her from her job, you're gonna take the rusted knife and you're gonna place cuts in here, okay? You wanna cut her. You wanna cut her from the job. You want her to be fired. You know, if you if you contact me and you tell me, listen, I cannot find nowhere ever to to, to bury it. There's no, there's no dirt. I haven't found none. It's, it's, it's yards away, miles away. Then an alternative would be to put it in the oven to dry it out. I like doing it in the ground. I honestly do. I always find somewhere. I, I, I really do. I will drive to another state to sour your ass up to please my clients. Yes, I will. And this is not mean. This is just how the magic world works. There's people out there doing worse things than me. But I'm honest enough to share with you guys certain things. You know, to live your life peacefully. So you don't have to be worried about, you know, certain people coming around and destroying your life. You know, deal with them before they deal with you. Keep your protection up like I told you. Keep your protection mojo bags up. Everything that you need to keep up, you keep up. Okay? Do not stop doing what you're doing. Just because you see results... Doesn't mean, oh, I'm going to stop burning my protection candles. No, you have to keep it on because you don't know who is after you. You honestly don't. And, you know, I share this with you guys because this is things that you can do. And this is how you can protect yourself. Defensive magic is, you know, there's a reason for it. You know, I love I love sugar jars and honey jars and sweetening people and, and reconciliating and love and bringing in blessings and money. But then there's a side of me where I will not tolerate any bullshit. So... You know, I have clients that feel the same way. So I have to, you know, give them what they need. This is what you need sometimes in your life. You need to keep certain people away, sour them up, dry them out. So comment below, like, 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 and subscribe. Stay blessed as usual, and I will see you guys in my next video.